What do you think? I mean, uh, if, if jobs is the dominant issue here and uh, the administration says it's working on that as its number one goal now, I mean, is it is it fair that they lose that they lose th so much because of that, or do you think that the Obama administration had its focus elsewhere when it first came into office? It certainly didn't have its focus elsewhere when it first came into office. Uh, they worked very very hard to pass the stimulus bill to avoid a total catastrophe throughout the Midwest that would have followed the collapse of the American automobile industry. Although, was that uh, stimulus focused on uh, creating jobs? I mean, did they spend $800 billion to create jobs, or did they just sort of pass out the money in, in projects that weren't shovel-ready, as we were promised? Well, the most neutral judge of that question is the Congressional Budget Office, and they issued a report a couple of months ago indicating that the stimulus package, although it didn't achieve what the American people wanted it to or what the Obama administration hoped it would, still nonetheless saved or created millions of jobs. Unemployment would have been a lot worse without it, according to the Congressional Budget Office, which doesn't have a dog in the hunt politically, so I believe them. Is that, I mean, saved or created millions of jobs, is that really something you can scientifically say? It seems difficult to prove. Well, look, <laughs> when you're talking about social science and economics, it's almost impossible to prove. But let me just give you one example. Uh, the states received a great deal of money from the federal government uh, as a result of the stimulus package. And there's no question about the fact that there would have been mass layoffs of state and local workers if it hadn't been for the stimulus. It's just now they, they, they achieved that goal, but they didn't achieve the 8% yeah. goal. So one of the, both of those things were formulas they knew they said they'd achieve from the beginning. And the one that is disprovable was disproved. And the other one that you can't prove at all is the one that they bring up all the time. Well, look, in fairness, uh, the administration, along with a lot of other people, underestimated the severity of the unemployment crisis. They used historical benchmarks to determine what unemployment was likely to be if you assumed roughly the decline in the GDP that we saw. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, those historical but, benchmarks didn't work in this case. Hey, hey, Bill, we got 30 seconds left here. We can't look back anymore. I want to look forward. So there's potentially some okay. big changes in Congress. Like, what if Chuck Schumer becomes uh, Senate Majority Leader? How might that affect things in terms of the economy and economic policy? Got 25 seconds here for you. Well, you know, first of all, there will probably be a fight between Chuck Schumer and Dick Durbin of Illinois, and I'm not sure who would win that fight. It would be mm. a tough one. But secondly, uh, the Senate Democratic leadership, whether it's a majority or a minority, is likely to be more vocal, more aggressive, and I think somewhat more focused than, mm -hmm. it, than it has been under Harry Reid. But I don't think there's going to be a huge change, of course, in economic policy. All right, and that seems to be the bottom line. Hey, Bill, thank you so much for your time today. Bill Galston uh, of the Brookings Institution.